The main objective of my research program is to improve the quality of life of childhood cancer survivors by preventing or lessening the impact of cognitive problems that may emerge secondary to their disease and treatment. These problems occur frequently in children who've received treatment directed at their central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal canal, and is associated with reduced academic and occupational success. Survival rates for children diagnosed with cancer have improved significantly over the past few decades, resulting in an increased focus on improving the quality of that survival, including long-term cognitive outcomes. Despite well-documented deficits in attention, executive functions, and processing speed, there are very few research-supported interventions that target these cognitive problems in childhood cancer survivors. This study demonstrated that methylphenidate, which is a stimulant medication, resulted in improvements in attention and behavior in childhood cancer survivors. These improvements were sustained over a year-long trial and were observed both in home and school environments. Um, further, these benefits often resulted in a return of skill levels to levels similar to healthy same-aged peers. While methylphenidate is beneficial and safe for a subset of childhood cancer survivors, there remain childhood cancer survivors for whom stimulant medications are not a viable treatment option um, due to parental preferences, medical exclusions, or medication intolerance. For these reasons, it's important that research investigations look at non-pharmacologic interventions, um, ones that may be more accessible to a greater number of childhood cancer survivors, and this represents a necessary next step to this research. The results of this study, coupled with other recently published study findings from the overarching trial, indicate that methylphenidate is safe and effective for childhood cancer survivors who may be experiencing cognitive late effects of their disease and treatment. These findings may offer hope and reassurance to families and survivors who are looking to lessen the impact of these cognitive problems on their child's social, academic, and occupational endeavors. It's our hope that in the near future, methylphenidate will be just one of many options we can have for survivors looking to improve their quality of life.